on the banks of the Chicago River behind me stands what used to be the Montgomery Ward corporate headquarters. And in this building is a Robert L. May created Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for Montgomery Ward. Basically the story goes is that they would give away coloring books each year to the kids who would come into the store with their parents around Christmas time. And so in the summer of 1939, they decided we're spending too much money on this. And so they signed a project to Robert May and their goal was to create a character that they could own without spending the money they had been on the coloring books that they're giving away for free. Where did the name Rudolph come from? Well, I'm glad you asked. Before deciding on Rudolph, Robert made a list of names that include Roll, Roland, and Reggie before settling on Rudolph. So why did Robert L. May pick Rudolph the Randos Reindeer to be a reindeer, you ask? Quite simple, actually. His four-year-old daughter was a fan of the reindeer she saw here at Lincoln Park Zoo. And so when creating a character, he drew that he drew an inspiration from his four-year-old daughter, Barbara. While the zoo no longer has reindeer, but there is quite a few different animals here, and who knows, maybe one of these animals here can inspire a children's story or poem in the future. You never know. So sadly, as Robert May was working on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, his wife contracted cancer in July of 1939, and unfortunately passed away before he had a chance to publish his story. Now his boss was offered to take him off the, the project, but he insisted on finishing it in order to tell his story because there was so much inspiration between his daughter and himself that he just had to continue. Because in Rudolph, you know, the kids or the reindeer, you know, laughed and played games. Well, Robert had that as well growing up. He basically knew what Rudolph was going through, in a sense. And so he had to continue the story, which he did, thankfully. In Montgomery Ward stores, like this former location in Plymouth, Indiana, children received their copy of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. In the first year alone, 2.4 million copies were given out. So in 1947, his bosses, you know, understanding what he's been going through, decided they're going to give him the rights to Rudolph. And that's what they did. The president of the company decided, you know what, Robert, you can have the rights. And from that, he was able to get his brother-in-law, Johnny Marks, to basically write the song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. However, in 1948, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer made his first appearance on the screen. In 1949, Gene Autry released his copy of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which became the first number one hit of 1950. In 1964, Rankin and Bass's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer made its debut. And to this day, it's shown every year around Christmas time. In May of 1976, unfortunately Robert L. May passed away at the age of 70. Thankfully, he was able to see the joy that he brought many children all over the world thanks to his character of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Robert O'May is actually buried here at St. Joseph's Cemetery in River Grove, Illinois, and he's buried next to his wife, Virginia, who he met while working at Montgomery Ward. And in case you're in the area and you want to visit Robert O'May and pay respects, he's in Section 8A, and the easiest way is he's along the road right there. And he's basically next to that monument with the benches. So if you find that, you can find him. He's only a few headstones away from that.